Konami, what are you doing? Stop! <laughs> Uh, what's going on YouTube? Ronin Frog 87 here. And the reason why I want Konami to stop <laughs> is because I really don't like what they're doing here, what they're doing with uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh! game. And for those of you who don't know, if you haven't heard, two big pieces of news broke today. Uh, the first was the Japanese OCG 2000, you know, the January 2015 ban list. And I'm not going to really talk about that here. I want to talk about the second news item, and is that is that they are errating and quote unquote errating <laughs> you know how i define errata well anyways they're errating a bunch of bank cards and basically bringing them back bringing them back to coincide with a ban list and they like unbanned a bunch like six or seven cards that and they just basically changed their effects and so yeah and before i get into them i just want to say my opinion on this whole matter is why I mean, this basic economy, Konami is just basically rewriting history here. I don't like it at all. I don't like this one bit. I mean, like I said, it's like they're just rewriting history. And remember when DSF got errated a few months ago and I said this has a dangerous uh, precedent? Well, we're going to feel the effects right here. Um, of course, this is going to be, this is OCG only. And who knows how long this is going to take to reach the TCG. Probably in some reprint set down the road. But it's going to come, guys. It's coming here to the TCG. Eventually, it will be here. And we're going to feel the repercussions of, you know, of them eradicating all these cards. Um, so, yeah, like, like I said, I'm totally against this, Konami. Why don't you just release, like, neutered versions of banned cards in the first place. You know, you did that with Tribe Infecting Virus, you did that with Black Lizard Soldier, even though Black Lizard Soldier got him banned. You did that with, you know, with Substitute, you did it with a bunch of other cards. And quite frankly, like, I, it's rewriting history, it's something that does, is not necessary, and it's, and, and in order to deal with all these broken cards, Konami, instead of just changing our effects, you already have something in place that deals with these, these cards, and that's the ban list. I mean, <laughs> Hello, I mean, isn't that one of the reasons why the balance was first made up? Maybe now the the whole rationale for the balance has changed. I mean, today is like to sell sets, but back then it was to like limit cards that were do doing serious heavy damage to the game. So yeah, like I've said, guys, um, reasons why I'm totally against this. It's like basically rewriting history. It's basically you know they're just doing will willy nilly. Now who was to say they can't they they don't change other cards? And, you know, balance, we already have the balance in order to keep broken cards in check and, you know, whatnot. So, it's just really, really, I, I, it just leaves a bad, freaking salty taste in my mouth. Well, alright guys, enough of, enough of that dumb little rant. Uh, let's just get to, uh, let's just get to the nitty gritty here and, you know, here on the organization, you know, I really love this website. Uh, you know, all they break a lot of news, and you know, all you know, all this news that you hear, it's they're pretty, they're really reliable. Uh, you know, they're not some, like some back alley Yu-Gi-Oh website. <laughs> they're really reliable, and they usually break everything first, and they have everything in one concise spot. So it's just that's why I love this website, uh, the organization, the YG organization. All right, so the first one, guys, is one of like considered like the poster child of the panel list, along with Yada, but you know. Uh, yeah, he's considered basically the one of the poster childs of the balance, and that's Chaos Emperor Dragon. And look at that beautiful bastard right there. And let's read his new effect. All right, Chaos Emperor Dragon, Envoy of the End. Cannot be normal summon set. Must be so special. Ah, must be special summon from your hand by banishing one light and one dark monster from your graveyard. It cannot be special summoned by other ways. During the turn you activate this card's effect, you cannot activate other effects. Once per turn, you can pay 1,000 life points, send all cards on the field, and in both players' hands to the graveyard. And inflict 300 damage to your opponent for each of your opponent's cards in this effect. Okay, so they basically, uh, they changed the first effect. The summoning conditions are a little bit different now. I mean, for okay, they've always been the same where you just remove one, when you just banish one light, one dark. But you can't, like, say, uh, if you properly f summon this, you can't, like, uh, call a haunt to this or sword charge this. Kind of like you can with... Black Lizard Soldier, where like if you properly special summon that, you can. So that's you know the only way you can special summon it is basically one off. You only can special summon this one time basically. And then they change the uh, the effect where on, not only your opponent takes the burn damage, 
not just you. And also, and the main, the biggest thing they changed about this is that you can't activate any other effect the turn you activate this card's effect. So that means you can't well go typhoon or you know in response to like their vanities in case they you know they act they have that active or whatnot. And so yeah, I mean that neuters it in a bit way, but then, you know people are still gonna find a nutty way to abuse the crap out of this chaos dragons. You know are gonna love this and. Just put this in Life Swarm, put this in anything. Why wouldn't you? It's a 3k beater, and that first effect is pretty awesome. So, yeah. Uh, just be smart when you play this, because, of course. <laughs> Alright, guys, next card. Ring it. Ring of Destruction. Are you kidding me? One of, the, one of the most feared cards in the game making this comeback. Alright, guys. Let's see how they butchered the Ring of Destruction now. You can only activate one Ring of Destruction per turn, okay? During your opponent's turn, target one face-up monster your opponent controls whose attack is lower than or equal to your opponent's life points. Destroy that face-up monster, and if you do, you take damage equal to that monster's original attack. Then inflict damage to your opponent's equal opponent equal to the damage you took. Ring of destruction. What the hell did Konami do to you? <laughs> I mean, sure, this you can still end games with this, but oh my god. Just so many damn stipulations and restrictions that they put on this thing just to bring it back. Remember the old effect was just basically simple. So like one face of monster on the field, destroy it. Both you and your opponent take damage equal to its attack. But now, oh my god, that's disgusting. Wow. Sure, this is this is a card that skill is going to be feared, but oh my god, guys, I, I'm speechless on this one. Oh, neck. Let's just move on. God, I don't even want to elaborate on that. Just let's just move on. And crush card. Are you fucking? Are you freaking kidding me? Come crush card. All right, crush card virus. Let's see. Let's see what they what they did to you as well. Uh, tribute one dark monster you control with one thousand alerts attack. Check your opponent's hand and all monsters they control and destroy all cards. All monsters with 1500 or more attack, and then your opponent can destroy up to three monsters with 1500 or more attack from their deck. After you activate this effect, after, after you activate this card, all damage your opponent takes until the end of the turn becomes zero. Oh my god, not. Okay, this is still pretty powerful, <laughs> I'm not, I'll admit it. But like Ring of Destruction, they really neutered it. Not as bad as Ring of Destruction, but they still neutered this card. You still have to tribute a monster with a dark monster with 1000 or less attack, and you still get your point, check your opponent's hand. And you know, all in their field, they control to blow up anything with 1500 more attack. But that's all. That's it. It's no longer you know the three turns. No longer that. Oh man, Kaiba is sad. Konami Kaiba is freaking sad. And then your opponent gets to choose what monsters they. Uh, <laughs> your opponent gets to choose what mo three monsters they. Uh, they dump from their deck that are 1500 or more. And <laughs> Burning Abyss is gonna love this card so so much you think fire lake's annoying oh my god just wait just wait until burning abyss just you know gets their hands on this what what are the targets tour guided graph and skarm and skarm and graph you can plus off of wow and then if you activate this and i wouldn't even dare activate this against a burning abyss deck for the reasons stated I mean, maybe they feel maybe that's why they felt that they can you know bring this back with all these restrictions because you know destruction's not too good right now because everything floats. But wow, Konami Kaiba is so sad right now. Moving on, Temple of the Kings. You can only use the effect of ah excuse me. You can only use each effect of Temple of the Kings once per turn. One, you can activate one trap card you control during. Uh, during the turn, it is set. Two, you can send both this card and one phase of Mystical Beast Circuit to the graveyard. But also, one monster from your hand deck or fusion monster from your extra deck. Okay, so the way they noted this, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, it, this came in the Merrick structure deck and it was already banned upon release, so we couldn't even play this. And I didn't even play this for fun, so I had like no emotional attachment to this card. <laughs> I could do some of the other cards. And so, yeah, it's not, you know, I'm like, whatever. I mean, I think the old effect was you can just like activate all your trap cards from your hand willy nilly, like nothing, like Makira the Destructor. Like, you know, you can just go ham and stuff with your trap cards. I mean, now it's only one one of them. It has to be set that turn. It's kind of weird. And then, 
and then you can send that in a mystical beast circuit which is you know circuit is like a level six card so yeah it's gonna get quite an investment but you can start to summon one fusion monster from your hand deck from your fusion monster so you can go like freaking uh you can summon uh what's that thing cybernetic twin dragon or something or cyber end dragon uh to end games so yeah. i can see some combo decks being built around this card Okay, and then exchange of spirit. Oh my god, this 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 one always gave me a headache <laughs> for all the like the explanation and stuff going on. But let's see how they changed it. You can only activate one exchange of the spirit per duel. Okay, I ooh only per duel. So so once you once you activate it, that's it. Next, so basically you can't make <laughs> you can't win a match with just this card alone anymore. <laughs> If each player has 15 or more cards in their graveyard, pay 1,000 life points. Both players swap cards in their decks with their cards in their graveyards and shuffle the decks. Wow. So, yeah. So, you basically, you can make a deck built around this, but it can't beat your soul win condition anymore. Because you can win match one, but match two, <laughs> you can't activate this crap. So, <laughs> you're pretty screwed. <laughs> so, I guess, like, what's the point then? I guess to get a cheap win and then to side into something else. So, uh, Another, another, another sad, you know, just like another sad neutering. Yeah. Let's move on. Merrick's sister, I forget her name. Was it Shizu or something? <laughs> I forget her name, but Merrick's sister is sad right now because she's the one who played this card on Kaiba. All right, and then I guess this is the last card, and the last card is Sinister Serpent. Oh my god. Not Sinister, not you too, Sinister Serpent. <laughs> Let's see what Konami did to you now. All right, Sinister Serpent. You can only use the effect of Sinister Serpent once per turn. During your standby phase, if this card is in your graveyard, you can add this card to your hand. Your opponent's next end phase, banish one Sinister Serpent in your graveyard from your graveyard. Okay, I'm sorry, Konami. If you didn't want cheap recursion, then why the hell did you make Burning Abyss? <laughs> why the hell did you make Shadows, Konami, if... Oh... Oh, the Sinister Serpent is so scary. Let's have it banned. And the only way we can bring it back is to neuter the fuck out of it. But it's okay because we have Burning. But, you know, having Burning Abyss and Shadal is just plus off of things that usually make you go minus. It's okay. Oh, Konami. You and your fucking logic. But then again, money is involved. So when money is involved, who cares about logic? So basically, yeah, they neutered the freaking crap out of Sinister Serpent. Well, kind of. I mean, you can only use one sensor for super per turn, whereas, you know, if you, before you couldn't, but it didn't really matter because it was limited to one at, at a time, then it got banned. And then during your standby phase, uh, if it's in your graveyard, add it to your hand. But during your opponent's next end phase, you get to banish one. I don't know if you have to banish one, or if it, if, it, if you do have a sensor serpent in your graveyard, it has to be banished. So, yeah, you have to, re you have to get this to back to your hand as soon as possible. And so you can have to play around it, and it's no longer, I guess, Konami's like, eh, we don't want them mindlessly pussing off of this card. So we'll put that in stipulation, even though things like Burning Abyss and Shadows exist in the game, it's it's okay, or, you know, or Scout or Tool or whatever, even though those cards exist and give you multiple pluses, uh, we have to restrict the shit out of this. You know, that's what basically Konami's saying here. Oh my god, Konami. I'm just really sad and disgusted by this, by all this whole this whole notion, you know, all these cards that were banned for a reason, and now you're bringing them back. I guess some people make it makes some people happy because you know they get to play with their old cards, with their old nostalgic cards. But to me, it's just sad. You're rewriting history. You're doing something the balance already has done. You're you're just changing cards willy nilly now and. <laughs> And I'm just disgusted, guys. <laughs> Alright, I hope you enjoyed that video as negative as it may have sounded there at the end. As always, I'm Ronald Frog 87 and bidding you farewell, and I'll see you guys on the next one.